Hello, this is Movie Hunter 1888. This is War of the Colonies. The logo is basically, well, uh, you've seen my earlier videos, you know that skull was always there. But, uh, the border around it, oh, it's from the Brotherhood of Nod. Interesting thing about the uh, original cast I had here. I was planning to have the sergeant stay around a lot longer because of, well, anyone I uniquely mark is someone I like. Uh, if anyone ever wanted to ask, uh, that's me in the in the corner, and the guy with the plasma rifle is my brother. Well, I always Ready, made him to three, be my brother, so that's two, why he has a squeaky voice. One. Go, go, go! <laughs> uh, this war was pretty much based on me and my brother used to have little uh, war with army men, and I always liked the idea of like uh, two islands facing off against each other. So basically, I thought, hmm, why don't I just bring that war to life? Captain Lewis, huh. how did I start with that? Oh wait, no, he's a lieutenant right now. Lieutenant Lewis, uh, to be honest, I didn't good. expect to do much with him, but I kind of liked his voice. To a of rocket uh, uh, if anyone's asking about his voice, the there's a filter on GarageBand called the Atari filter, tower. which makes it sound like the early uh, voice work on like old video game systems. You know, if you ever look up all your base belong to us, it's kind of atrocious. But I kind of liked it a little. You and I need to go it was a lot better than, well, the sergeant's video. voice. Corporal? Oh yeah, interesting thing about the sergeant's voice. This one His voice was originally made for a, uh, uh, never mind. Anyone who knows uh, Empire Strikes Back, I used the battle probe there. Interesting thing about the assault rifle is, that's the Gears of War assault rifle if you listen hard enough. And the probe that starts shooting is, uh, what is it? It's the... Uh, oh, next episode. Pretty cool battle. Anyone who's played Command & Conquer knows that all the flamethrowers say that when you click on them. <laughs> uh, the Tau uh, stealth guys, I... To be honest, I didn't exactly want this to take place in uh, Warhammer 40k lore, but after I started listening to Dawn of or after I started watching Let's Plays of Dawn of War 2, I kind of figured the lore is a little inter oh, interesting. I love this tank. It was I was trying to build like one of the Soviet hammer tanks, but it ended up I wanted to add a chaos twist to it, so it's a nasty little thing. Now, also, uh, this kind of screwed up, but now. if you listen closely, you can hear my brother in his squeaky little voice say, uh, the sergeant and the corporal are dead. They're rushing us. I love that scene of the building. <laughs> uh, anyway, the war. Uh, hmm, what else? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of doing a prequel thing for the war. Kind of, uh... This takes place kind of like right at the middle, of the, Doc, right in the middle the of the war, of the uh, right after chaos entered. Because before, I wanted to have a war with the new empire. I always wanted them to be like either the Brotherhood or the Soviets. It'll take more than a bullet to stop me. Be honest, this episode was just me dicking around for a little bit, but I figure that basically, if I keep making content. Yes, oh, yeah, the gunships. I the got an interesting comment about the gunships. You might want to move over. They're actually made out of uh, soap right boxes. Yes, Not anymore. They're kind of based... Oh, control, yeah, same for the drop pod. <laughs> He's sending you to do the air invasion. Uh, the gunships were based on... What was it? You know the hunter-killer from Terminator? The big gunships that were black and had like a Cylon eye. Nasty little things. I always liked having like helicopters, like a Vietnam helicopters, one guy in the gunner seat while everyone else kind of peers out. To be honest, the only other thing that's really done that, that I've seen are the gunships from uh, Star Wars, the uh, Republican or the <coughs> Republic gunships.
The captain's voice here was very hard to do. My lord, and to think I screwed up. Oh, love this part because it shows my three oh, villains and how nasty killed. they can be and shows off their personalities. If anyone wants to know where this took place, it took place inside an ammunition box. I got a couple of uh, military ammunition boxes, and I just shone a desk lamp on it. I love his voice, and I love how I made him, like, pseudo-British. Shockwave? I didn't exactly know what the Tau were. But I always thought like his uh, he looks like Shockwave from Transformers. This defeat may seem like a failure. So I made him more like a computer than a Tau. So my idea for Shockwave was he was like a rogue uh, battle com robot battle commander that joined the new empire. Your new cybernetic weapon. The new emperor, he's kind of a collaboration of uh, two characters. Kane from uh, Command and Conquer, and Emperor Asari from Killzone 2. I always loved the beginning speech in Killzone where he basically says uh, that uh, people of the Hellgast race, now is our time. Why send our greatest weapon to that one location? I always had uh, Shockwave wanting to talk in a techno way, like a computer says, like a uh, or he talks like a computer, but has essences of humanity. He will serve his purpose. But to be honest, uh, late this time in the war, Chaos Lord is the one pulling the strings. Oh yeah, and little interesting thing. Right, He's he has a power fist in this. Move I always liked the power the fist, but then I kind of thought, Your how the hell can I fight with it? So that's why I had him at a sword. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gave Captain Lewis, uh, um, Lieutenant Lewis, I'm thinking too far into the future. Go, Lieutenant Lewis, the, the chain sword. Also, a lot of the sound effects I use for the guns are from, like, Gears of War, Halo, and Section 8, strangely enough. Oh yeah, uh, to be honest, I didn't know the gun battery, or the mech that I used, was from Macross. I actually found it, uh... I found it in my fruit cellar. Probably it was like a toy that my dad had a long time ago. And I thought, wow, this thing looks almost... Not like the Nod Avatar, but something Nod would build. So that's why it's red and black. Incineration. I was going to have it sort of be like one of those uh, Beaches of Normandy kind of thing. Where basically they have to take out the... Uh, heavy defenses so the MCV could come and uh, reinforce the team. Yeah, I'd go a little overboard with the flamethrower sometimes. I just love using it. I love the missiles on there. That is awesome. I was originally going to have a subplot where basically we learn what the hell Shockwave, the new, empire, the new Emperor, and Chaos Lord did before the war to, uh... It's kind of based around my, uh, first two videos I made, or Halo Machinimas. Uh, sir, weren't we supposed to bring him in First Strike Alpha Colony and counterattack the The enemy shows his head. Lewis. You secured the drop zone. Prepare to send in reinforcements and the crawler. You've got the city of New Russia. Oh, by the way, I swear to God, I did not know it meant. Or I swear to God, if you spelled out New Russia, it looks like New Russia. I swear to God, I didn't want to make that comparison. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll try to do the next few videos. Later.